we'll first find uh, f plus uh, g of x and this equals uh, f of x plus uh, g of x. I'm going to replace f of x as uh, given by this uh, function. That is f of x equals uh, 5 minus x and g of x is given as this uh, function that is uh, x squared minus 3x. So let me put this in uh, appropriate order. First, I write the x squared term. Then we have the like terms negative x and negative 3x. So when we add them together, we get uh, negative 4x. And we also have this uh, constant 5. So this equals x squared negative 4x plus 5. So basically, this is a quadratic function, or we can say that this is a polynomial function in degree 2. And all polynomial functions are defined for all values of x in real number system. So therefore, we can say that the domain of this uh, quadratic function is all real numbers. And in internal notation, we write down this as uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So therefore, we say that uh, f plus uh, g of x is x squared minus 4x plus 5. And its domain is uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. We will now find the f minus g of x. So this equals uh, f of x minus uh, g of x. So let's replace uh, both f of x and uh, g of x. f of x is uh, 5 minus x. Minus, uh, I put this bracket since it has uh, more than one term. So I put this uh, g of x that is x squared minus uh, 3x. Let's simplify this. The first term we write down this as 5 minus x. We have to distribute this negative 2 inside the two terms in the bracket. So therefore, negative of x squared is uh, negative x squared. And negative of negative 3x is uh, positive 3x. So let's uh, put this in highest powers of x first. That is, uh, this is the highest power of x. This is x squared. That is negative x squared. We then have the like terms negative x uh, plus 3x, which equals uh, 2x. And we also put this uh, plus 5. So this is a quadratic uh, function in x. Uh, or otherwise, we can see that uh, it's a polynomial function in uh, degree 2. So all polynomial functions are defined for all values of x. That is, uh, we see that uh, x uh, belongs to uh, real numbers. So therefore, we see that the domain of this function is all real numbers. We write down this in internal notation as negative infinity to positive infinity. And so this is the function f minus g of x. And its domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. We will now find fg of x. So this equals uh, uh, f of x times uh, g of x. So it's basically the product of the two functions, f of x and g of x. So let's replace the f of x, which is uh, 5 minus x times uh, g of x is uh, x squared minus uh, 3x. We can foil this out. So I'm going to multiply 5 with x squared, which is uh, 5x squared. And then multiply 5 with negative 3x, which is uh, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15x. And then now I multiply this negative x with uh, x squared. So it becomes uh, negative of uh, x cubed. And then multiply this negative x with this uh, negative 3x. So product of 2 negative is positive. And we have this 3 and x times x is x squared. So it's basically 3x squared. So let's write down this in the highest powers of x first. So this is the highest power of x. We can write down this as negative x cubed. And then we have the like terms 5x squared plus 3x squared, which equals uh, 8x squared. And we have this uh, negative 15x term. So this is the expression for f uh, g of x. And basically, this is a cubic uh, expression or a cubic function in x. Uh, otherwise, we say that it's a polynomial function uh, in x with uh, degree 3. So all polynomial functions are defined for all values of x. That is, uh, x belongs to real number system. So we can write down the domain in internal notation as domain of this function is from negative infinity to positive infinity.
And so lastly, we will find this uh, function f by g of x. So this equals uh, f of x over g of x. So it is the quotient f of x uh, by g of x. So let's replace the f of x, which is uh, 5 minus x, and also replace the g of x, which equals uh, x squared minus 3x. Now we will simplify the denominator. That is, I write the numerator expression as it is. I'm going to factor x from the two terms in the uh, x squared minus 3x. So when I factor x, I will get uh, x minus 3, that is x times of x minus 3, which I'm going to write down here. Specifically, I write down in factor form so that uh, this helps to determine the domain of the function. So we can see that uh, this uh, f by g uh, of x, that is f of x over g of x equals 5 minus x by x times of x minus 3, or we could also consider this as the expression. So now let's uh, determine the domain of this function. So for this, we have to be a little bit careful here because uh, the domain of a, quad, uh, of a quotient function is uh, defined for all real numbers except the denominator equals uh, 0. That is, uh, this is the denominator expression. So this uh, should not be equal to 0. So let's say that if uh, this is not equal to 0, we get uh, x is not equal to 0 as plus uh, x minus 3 is not equal to 0. And this gives uh, x is not equal to 3. So we consider these two restrictions on the domain. That is, uh, it is defined for all numbers in the real number system except uh, these two values of x. So we can uh, write down the domain in interval notation as uh, from negative infinity to 0. It is defined. We put this union and then from 0 to 3, it is defined union and then from 3 to positive infinity. So this is the domain of the function f by g of x in interval notation.